Hey guys, a puzzle for you today. Um, so I, I've just played a couple of games. Um, the first game I played, I made a long video with this game against this, this guy. I've got to stop picking up these open challenges. My opponent here is rated 1062 and he beat me with 77 accuracy. Uh, just made me look bad again. So this is the second time in a week when I've tried to pick up a challenge from somebody lower rated in order to make an informative and instructive video for people who are around the thousand or what, what was it last time it was 1200 mark this is now a thousand rated player with a series of 70 and 80 percent games so you know i don't know what's going on i don't really care um but this is the important thing right um i make a, i have a missed win and a blunder here so missed win is, is like a blunder anyway in this game, I play my bishop out to f5, but I missed a trick. And when I'm talking trick, I'm talking one of the most elegant magic tricks there is in the whole of chess, right? Um, and it's, it's actually a relatively simple pattern once you look at it, but it's deadly, deadly effective. Now, have a pause and look at, look for a, a wonderful, beautiful, sacrificial trap for black from this position, okay? Now, if you got it, fantastic. If not, let me show you something, okay? I'm going to flip over to the Leeches uh, analysis board and we'll play through a very, very classic example of what I'm talking about, okay? So we'll play, get into the Italian game, right? So here... We've got the bishop looking at the king's bishop's pawn, right? Um, Freddy. So we've got bishop looking at Freddy. Black develops, gets ready to um, push his pawn, gets ready to develop his queen's uh, bishop, and then we develop our second knight. <clears throat> okay, so key things. <coughs> You've got both knights developed. And you've got a bishop on the Italian diagonal, right? So you've got a bishop basically looking at, at Freddy, okay? And then your opponent pins the knight against the queen. Now, we've often talked about this. We've often talked about how bishop takes Freddy, being the, um, the best move in chess. And um, because if king takes you can then move very often with check. Now, in this situation, that's not possible, right? If I, if I take here, um, king takes, I can't go to here or to here with check and win the bishop. Well, I mean, I can, but if I go here, for example, queen just takes knight, right? If I go here, um, hang on. So if, if I go there and then there with check, takes, probably just knight takes, and I've just given up a bishop. All right, my check is gone. So this check would have to come with um, from a, a protected square, a, well, a safe square, a safe square. So the knight would have to be able to move and not be captured, right? That's the point. And then you can win the bishop. However, in this position, there is actually something even worse. And let me show you what it is, okay? So here, here, we actually play knight takes e5 anyway, right? And you're thinking, that's just crazy, right? But um, it's kind of crazy, but it's a trap, okay? Now, if your opponent knows what he's doing, he's just going to take your knight and win, okay? Because take the knight and then the queen can't take bishop because it's defended, right? And that's winning. And that's happened 4,700 times on the Lee Chess database. However, if your opponent uh, is greedy and grabs your queen, you go, oh no, my queen, right? This has happened two and a half thousand times. One in three games, opponent grabs queen. And white wins 100% of the time from here. Why? I'll show you. Now bishop takes D uh, F F2. Bishop takes C, Freddy. And because the knight is here, it's guarding both of these squares, which gives black only one legal move. Boom. And in fact, um, 
why has managed to lose one game from this position by deciding to play d4? But actually, that is a beautiful checkmate. And this is known as the Legal's Mate or Legal's Trap, um, named after an 18th century Frenchman, I do believe, who used to love playing this. So let's, let's, let's look again at the situation, right? Bishop looking at Freddy. Both knights out. Pins your, pins your uh, knight against your queen. Now, <clears throat> let's say this knight wasn't there. Okay, um, could make it even more effective. But you go in with your knight. If they grab your queen, it's curtains. Okay, now let's go back to this position. And let's apply what we know. Okay, so what have we got? We've got both knights out on their natural squares. All right, ready to come in towards the center. We've got a bishop pinning on one of our knights against our queen. Good. And we have a bishop on this diagonal looking at Freddy. So here, I played bishop out to here, not the best move. Best move is knight takes knight. Like what? And also notice here because um, there's no knight to capture me, right? So here, if, for example, pawn takes, I just got a free piece. Happy days, right? Uh, instead of that, knight takes knight. Um, but if bishop takes queen, again, bishop to here. And in fact, that would be an immediate checkmate in that position. Isn't that remarkable? Yeah? We don't even have to do that, right? Um, if takes queen, simple mate, all right? Um, if the knight wasn't there, <clears throat> so for example, we go a couple of moves later in the game. Okay, now the knight's moved, right? And in the game I play this to defend my bishop. Blunder. Why was it a blunder? Because we have the same thing. Bang. If white takes the queen, then it's damn. And only one legal move, because the knight covers that square. There, and checkmate. With the knight defending the bishop, and it's all over. Beautiful, beautiful pattern. And, you know, how often are you going to have this situation? If you're an Italian player, right? Or whatever you open with. You're, you're going to have both knights on their natural squares, and you're going to have, have a bishop looking at the f pawn a lot. Um, so, you know, maybe that would have worked in this game, but I need to burn that one into into here because it's, I mean, it's a pattern that that is just wonderful. And on Lee Chess, like it's happened two and a half thousand times. So, I mean, that exact position uh, from the Italian. So. Uh, one to know. So if you if you haven't got Legal's mate burned into your noggin, get it burned in. I know I need to. Um, but there we go. And then after this game, I played two 10-minute rapid games against 1,600 rated opponents, won them both. So go figure. Anyway, enjoy your Sundays, guys. See you later.